Feels heavy. Feels heavy in the weeds. We're gonna see what she is in about five seconds. Oh, it's a big bass. You in net or are you good? I think we're good. Okay. Hey. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> we are out on Lake Delavan, and I am fishing with my good friend, Violet Talley, Lake County Water Sports Pro Staff. We're out on Violet's beautiful new Skeeter. We're gonna be checking it out today. We just got this little guy. We're gonna get her back in the water. Nice fish to start the day. Hey, Jim, let's get a weight on that, all right, on the Bubba scale. Sure. Me and Violet are tournament anglers, so it's, it's only fitting that we have a little competition on the boat, so we're gonna see what this one comes in at. Three pounds, five ounces, all right. Hey, great way to start the day. Let's get this fish back in the water. Got him? I got him. Yep. Oh, yeah, he's not bad. He's all, he was all the way up there. That's why I was trying to, trying to get a little closer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice oh, post-spawn yeah, nice fish. One. Nice post-spawn fish. I have one hook in him. Do you want? Wow. Nice. Well, look at that barely hooked. Yep. Another three-pound class fish. Yep. People underrate certain parts of a lake. You know, they, they need to get out there and they gotta go to a hot spot, whatever. There's a ramp. We're like literally right by the ramp. This is a big channel and we noticed that there's a lot of shallow water fish striking. So I decided to throw it up underneath uh, the uh, growth there and see if we got any fish and that's either the fish was on a bed or it was just roaming. But um, we're just, we're right by the ramp. And you never know, you can't, you can't underestimate, you know, any part of the lake. Oh, that a girl. That's it. You called it. <laughs> yeah, I called it. I knew that was gonna happen. That's a good one. Oh yes, it is a good one. You want the net? Yes, please. I can't see it. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, there you are. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice one. <sighs> hey, you want your jig back? Cause it just came out yeah, of the Yeah, I know. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I said, can I have the net please? Look at this guy. And the jig just fell out of his mouth. So these fish, post-spawn fish, look at that. Beautiful fish. We are right on the weed line. I was just, just was telling Jim, I said, we're coming up to this underwater peninsula. And if there's going to be fish biting, it's going to be here. There's a ton of bait and sure enough, hooked into a good one. So she bit right on the bottom. That's awesome. Great fish. 401, four, right. 401. So let's get this girl back in there and have her fight another day. There she goes. These fish use the weed line as a highway. Um, they're gonna ambush bait on that weed line. They've been on beds, so they've come off the beds. What they're gonna do is they're gonna go to that first ledge or first drop off, which is exactly where the weed line stops because then when it drops off, the sunlight can't get down there. So you got that weed edge that's gonna just stop. Where those dips and ditches and ledges are is what I'm looking for, because that's where the weed growth is gonna go up and down. And you're gonna see the bait fish and of course the predator fish behind them. He came back and hit it. He hit it once. I saw that. Came back for it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. We only catch good ones, Violet. That's how we got to do it, you know? Taking some drag even. Okay. You need a net or are you good? No, we're going to get her up here. All righty. Look at that. Nice little two, two and a half pound chunk. Got that jig eating it real good. It is the busy season out here on the lake. You can tell this fish is recovering from the spawn. Some old spawn marks, but recovering pretty well. And uh, yeah, nice fish. A little heavier than I thought. Two, 12 and a half. It gives a little half ounce on there, you know, so you really know. Nice fish, probably over three pounds full of eggs. We'll get her back. There she goes into the depths. So as a tournament angler, you know, the boat is considered like my office and you guys gotta have the best tools in your office if you wanna, you know, have a good day's work. You need a boat that's gonna give you more time fishing and less time maintenance and dealing with things. So when Skeeter brings out a boat um, to the market, it's tournament ready. The size of this deck is big enough, so if you want to do a team tournament, both of you need to get up here and work, you guys can work. But also, if you're going to do, have the co-angler in the back, you have all that deck space in the back as well. So it, it allows me, like I said, to fish. You, you can actually fish. You don't have to worry about anything else. You're not tripping over anything. I have right now, I have about six or seven rods on the deck plus a net. This is what's one of the best things about this boat is just the amount of space, storage, and like I said, you can just simply fish. So the great thing about Skeeter boats, they do come tournament ready straight out of the factory. However, when you want to put those finishing touches on, you have to be able to trust your dealer to be able to do it and do it right. So Lake County Water Sports, they're a family owned business, independently owned, and they're just wonderful to work with. You get that one-on-one that -on -one customer service experience. And so what's great about having that one-on-one -on -one customer service experience that you know, a lot of other companies have kind of fallen out of touch with, 
Lake County is different. They will sit there and they'll go through the boat with you. They'll make sure you have exactly what you need and that it's put on the right way. And they, you can call them. There's always somebody picking up the phone. You don't get automated messages. You know, you can walk in and you get a smile on their face and they're ready to help you at any time. Wonderful family owned business in Wakanda, Illinois. Just wonderful, wonderful company. These are one? Better. Oh, there we go. You want that or you gonna flip the oak? Oh, uh, yeah, he's barely hooked. About a three pounder. Keep growing that bag. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Oh, Appreciate it. Right. Right. I put anything for the fish. <laughs> so it looks like we got a decent bass now. We got on that missile jigs, uh, 3 8 ounce missile jigs. And it hooked pretty good. Not too bad. Wow, hooked really good. I'm glad because the last one it kind of came out. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Another nice one. Hey, this is the kind of beautiful fish that are able to be caught right here in the Chicagoland area, Southeast Wisconsin area. So if you guys want to get on the water this year and catch some fish like this, stop in Lake County Water Sports. They'll get you on it, whether it's a $100,000 bass boat or something like a John boat, right? Exactly, absolutely. They'll get you on the water right away and you guys can catch fish like this right in your backyard. I'm Jim O'Neill and for Violet Tally, stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. Another beautiful one from Lake Delavan, beautiful.